Yeah, Joyce, the 11-year-old daughter, she is hospitalized here at Children's Wisconsin. She's got some head injuries and some serious leg injuries. While her mother is also seriously hurt, hospitalized 25 miles away from here in Oconomowoc. And that mother and daughter are going to face some serious challenges when they are able to return home. But today, some caring volunteers stepped up to help ease that process. My wife feeling better. She's a really strong lady. Rigoberto Perez was on his way to see his wife, Romelia, and then his 11-year-old daughter, Camila, both seriously hurt and still hospitalized, but in different hospitals. I'm crying a lot. I'm, I'm not feeling good. So I go see my wife, go see my daughter. Too hard for me. Romelia has multiple fractures and is facing several surgeries. This is Camila being treated at Children's Wisconsin for a fractured femur and head injuries. How's Camila? Camila, she's... A lot better now, but she's crying a lot. She's she love mom and she love papa and papa and mama not there. She's not feeling good. She's need the moms. But their long road to recovery was made just a bit easier on Wednesday. A team of local craftsmen are volunteering their time to build wheelchair ramps at the homes of injured victims. I just wanted to do one ramp out of my own pocket at first, and it has turned into, we're doing them all. Contractor Brock Held is organizing the effort, calling it the Nameless Builders Project, to help ease the burden on families like the Perez family. We're very thankful for everyone that is part of this. What do you think when you see this going on? Waukesha is a very strong community. We're a small, we're a small city, but when this happened, everyone just came together. I'm gonna have you on taking these gutters off. Home Depot donated all of the building materials for this project, and several other local businesses are also donating hardware and other materials. Held says the goal is to help as many families in need as possible. We're just going to get it done and keep moving on, move forward. So touching to see this, Kent. Do we know just how many more of these ramps they're planning to build? Well, plans, preliminary plans are already in the works for up to three more at this point. The uh, Delafield Home Depot tells 12 News that they plan to donate all of the building materials for at least the next one and maybe more. Blifford Lumber and Ace Hardware in Waukesha and a number of other businesses are also donating. But Held and the uh, Nameless Builders say they welcome any help they can get.